Hey, what's going on guys? John here, and today I wanted to do an in-depth video review for the Dopes Play DR148. This is actually a portable monitor with built-in keyboard. So in this video, I'm gonna walk you through some of the components that came with this. We'll go through some of the settings. Um, I'll show you an example of how I actually have this here set up in my space and um, I'll give you my overall thoughts. So let's first start with the actual monitor itself. This is basically a um, small portable 15 inch monitor that allows you to hook this up to any PC, Android phone. You could hook up a game console, say like a Nintendo Switch, something like that, and actually utilize this as a monitor. What's really cool about this is this particular portable monitor actually has a built-in keyboard. Um, more or less um, on the back of this, I'm actually gonna just kind of flip this around so you guys get some idea of what's going on here with connectivity options. They include this nice sheet here on the back which you can take off, but you've got your power sleep button here. There's a micro SD for an external micro SD card so you can actually connect this and with the included USB connection to a PC or anything like that, it's basically gonna add that as an extra drive. You've got your DC power coming through your USB-C and then you also have an earphone plug for your 3.5 millimeter earphone. You can connect um, via HDMI over USB-C, which is currently what I'm using now. And then you also have a mini HDMI connection as well. So what I actually have set up here, as you can see over here in the far right, I have a small uh, mini PC. This is actually almost like a little gaming PC. And I was able to load up some games on this and um, basically hook up a mouse. And I'm now more or less ready to go. So um, I'll actually jump in here. We can log into Windows and I can do a little demo of that. Um, I did want to give some idea of just some of the things you can expect with this. Um, you have your indicator lights here at the top left, so this will kind of give you an idea of like caps lock, different things like that. You have several shortcut buttons you can use throughout the monitor to actually make changes. You do have a built-in trackpad as well, and this is fully functional once plugged in. The mini HDMI um, is an included cable, which you can see here, which goes into HDMI on the back of the PC and um, it does include a power cable which has a larger brick um, that I've got connected here with this white cable. Um, and going through the manual, um, it gives you both English um, language and I believe there's other languages in here as well. Um, but let me see if I can flip this over. So this has like a little FAQ, kind of gives you examples of the types of phones you can connect to it any issues that you know could be happening with common problems. It goes through all the different menu settings, so switching between inputs, brightness, there's different like RGB settings, HDR settings, uh, but pretty much the um, breakdown on this is that it's a 1920 by uh, 1080p monitor. It measures out at 14.1 inches, and then it's got a, um, it kind of goes over some of the brightness here. It's a 16.9 aspect ratio, and it has an included uh, battery capacity of 5,000 mAh. Um, talks about all this stuff that's included. You have the monitor, the mini HDMI to HDMI, Type-C to Type-C, USB-C to USB-A, the power charger, and obviously this manual. It does go through and show you all the different shortcuts for like volume, muting, battery, touchpad, um, backlighting, all the different things. But overall, um, I've been very impressed with this. I actually set this up. I threw some like old classic games on here. We're actually gonna be having a, uh, a LAN party um, here upcoming where you know we basically get a bunch of computers together with friends and we all play games together over our local area network. So I threw some older games on here and I'll just load up um, like classic Counter-Strike. This is like perfect for something like this mini PC and you guys can get some idea of you know how this looks in a game. This is an older game that came out you know now going on probably 20 years ago but this is definitely a classic we love to play. Another thing I really love about this having the built-in keyboard is there's actually a built-in speaker here. So I didn't have to go and get headphones or anything like that and they actually sound really good. We'll just start up a match locally here with some bots. And overall, I'm very happy with the image quality. Um, I was also able to use the built-in keyboard and I just added my own mouse and I still feel like I can play pretty well um, just jumping into most of these games without any issue. So um, this is perfect for what it is that I'm looking for. And overall, I just really wanted something that was gonna work quite nicely for like a simple setup. So yeah, I've just been ecstatic using this. Um, here we'll kind of get out in the daylight. You can see, while it's an old game, everything runs smoothly, looks great, and um, overall, just like using any other monitor. I'll jump out of the game here. You can hear all the voices going off, but um, everything hooked up again amazingly well, and overall, I'm very, very satisfied with this portable monitor setup. 
Um, I don't see a lot of these out there that have the built-in keyboard, so I think if you're looking for something like this, this is definitely the way to go. Anyway, thanks for checking out my video review. Hopefully you found this helpful, and I will talk to you later.